We're here at Pepcom's Digital Experience, checking out the latest gadgets being showcased at CES 2017. Let's take a look at some of the cool new options. So, as expected, we have more Internet of Things accessories, but some of them are actually quite useful, like the new Ring Floodlight Cam. Ring has made a splash with its doorbell and stick-up cam, and with this, you now have a floodlight and camera all in one. So if there's an intruder, not only will they be lit up, but you have a camera with two-way communication and a siren. There's also switches from iDevices that allows you to control lights and outlets, as well as a wireless switch to use anywhere. And this is Apple HomeKit enabled, so it can work seamlessly with other devices. Other devices like new products from Elgato. This is the Eve series, and much like the products from iDevices, these allow you to have smart control over plugs and switches, as well as other areas around your home, and this too is HomeKit enabled. There are also products like new luggage from Encase that has a battery built in for charging your devices, as well as Bluetooth to let you know the location of your bag or give you alerts if you walk too far from it. Also, Kanex showed off some new keyboards that are similar to the Apple Magic keyboard, but with a bit of a different look, and a foldable keyboard for when you're on the go. Also, it had a new portable Apple Watch charger that fits on a keychain, it was pretty tiny. One really interesting product is from Navdi, and it's a heads-up display unit for your car. This allows you to see information about your car, and also content from your phone like messages and phone calls, in the heads-up display. All of this can be controlled through gestures or a small button on your steering wheel, and because it's a heads-up display, you're still looking at the road while using it, so it's a bit less distracting. Rhino Shield also showed off some of its new cases. These are using a material that is made to seriously protect your devices from drops, even from building heights. But at the same time, even with all that protection, these cases are relatively thin, which is hard to find with a lot of cases. And speaking of drops, having a strong screen is important, and Corning was showcasing Gorilla Glass 5. This new iteration is better at taking impact while under flex. So even if you take a glass sample and bend it, and then drop it, the Gorilla Glass 5 survives the drop while the normal glass does not. Also, this glass is much more scratch resistant, which makes it better for devices like smartwatches. But those are some of the most interesting products from the digital experience. Be sure to stay tuned to the YouTube channel and MacRumors.com for more coverage from CES 2017. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm Mac Gonzalez with MacRumors, and I'll see you next time.